What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another video. So, the guys over at SYX Moto sent me one of their pit bikes to check out. These things are super sick for how cheap they are. They cost about as much as the rear tire on my S1000. So I'm curious to see getting a whole bike that runs for that much. Can't really lose with that, so we'll see. This is exactly how it came to me, so I'm gonna open it up and we'll put it together real quick. I'll show you guys the process. <laughs> There we go. It's a two stroke 50. Got it in KTM orange. Oh, nice. They already have all the cables hooked up. Comes a little decal kit too. We'll see, I might put that on today or I might put that on later, we'll see. All right, first thing, get the bars on. Awesome, comes with all the tools, everything you need. Even a little bar pad. Oh, that's awesome. I actually bought, I bought a new thing to mix the oil, but they already send you one with it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's nice. They even send you all the tools so you don't even have to open up your toolbox to put this thing together. This would probably be like the perfect type of bike too for like your kid or something like that because they're, it's one of those bikes that your kids gonna outgrow, but it'd be a good one for them to learn to ride on and all that type of stuff. And we're gonna go ride this thing today too and really put it to the test and see what it can do. Oh yeah. Throttle feels nice. I mean, you gotta remember the price tag of this bike. That's pretty absurd that it doesn't seem bad for the price tag, that's for sure. It, the mix ratio on it is really, um, really rich too. So that's, that's a good sign. Keep it nice and healthy, 25 to one. That's usually like most, like a true dirt bike, you run like 40 to one or maybe like 35. So that'll be nice and rich, be good for it. And we'll even break it into a proper heat cycle. That way, give it the best chance possible to last its whole life. It even came with the little legit bar pad. That's sick. There we go, this thing is legit. Okay, <clears throat> I wonder if that's an ignition for it or if it's, no, I think it's pole start. So I think I can just take that off. Put the front wheel on so I can get it on the kickstand. Disc brakes, there we go. Put the spacers on, make sure you Get it spaced out correctly. There we go. There we go, cool. Front that on. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get the rear linkage put in. That way it'll stay up nice. This, this one with Loctite here, this little one, threads into that and that's your rear linkage. Now we should be able to put it on the kickstand. There we go. That'll make it a little easier to get all this put together. This thing's going together really easy though. It comes like pretty much ready to go. All you gotta, it's nice how like, they have all the hard stuff already done, like the fuel lines and all that, all the electrical stuff's already run. All you have to do is just basic bolts, nothing. If you put together Ikea, Ikea furniture, you could do this. Curious to push it and see how, how this thing performs. Need a pair of scissors to cut the foot pegs down. There we go. Couldn't mix up the gas for it. So I'm gonna fill up to this first line right there and then this first line right here, I'm gonna fill up with gas. And then this second line right here is where I'm gonna fill it up to oil and that'll be 20 to one. Probably add one or two of those and that should be good. Put some gloves on so my hands don't smell like gas for a week. It's even got some pretty nice meaty tires on it. That once again, I mean, the, for the price tag of this, I mean, those crappy electric ones are the same price as this about. Try to not knock that over in the garage. Got some two stroke oil. So I fill it right up to that first line. And then now I'm gonna fill it up to the 20 to one ratio. Or 25 to one. Right there. And we'll shake this up a little bit and then pour it in. Oh, I don't think I have any of my funnels. Oh well. I'll always use a funnel. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think you should do two of those. I think that'd be the perfect amount. That's a nice easy way to do it because instead of having to like calculate your gallons and stuff, all you gotta do is just fill it up to the lines. A full tank of gas in this thing will probably last forever too with how small the, it's a 50 cc. There, that's perfect. You could probably even do a little bit more gas, but 
That's like a three-fourths tank probably. All right, now I'll go ahead and get the rest slapped together and then we'll go ride this thing. I'm literally dripping sweat off my nose. It's so humid. <laughs> and there we go. Brake stuff you always want fairly snug, but these are still pretty small screws, so you don't want to strip anything. Okay, your front brake is on this side, your rear brake's on this side. Cool. Okay, let's get the front fender put on. Super simple to put together though. I mean, this is like Ikea. So you just got those two underneath. You got one right there. It even has a little VIN stamped into it, so you could get it street legal in Arizona probably. Anything with a VIN can be street legal in Arizona. And it's got the little, uh, it's got a nice cone filter on it, which is pretty nice. There we go, and that goes on just like that. Oh, okay, that's what that's for. So there's this little um, little guy right here. The way it works is this goes through, like that goes through like that, and then this goes on there to space it out from the bars. Okay, cool. I think that's it. Throttle feels good. The brakes feel good. I might, yeah, I'm gonna adjust the brakes just a little bit more down. This is for my personal, there we go. Oh, this thing will definitely wheelie. Okay, let's, I'm not gonna put the decals on because I just wanna go ride it. All right, so we just got to where we're gonna ride, so let's get it unloaded. This is the nice thing about this bike. You don't have to get your ramps out or anything. You just <laughs> pick it up. <laughs> All right, let's go ride. Okay, let's see if it'll start. It's gotta get the gas into the, motor I think I can just take that off so me being me not reading any instructions I forgot there's a little thing that you put on this that acts as a key and I also forgot to tighten down the front wheel so we'll run back real quick grab the key tighten down the front wheel and then we'll be back all right we're back we have the key front wheels actually connected Let's see if it'll start now. Keys on. Oh yeah, there you go. I, I wanna let it do one heat cycle and then I'll ride it. It's been a minute since I've had a two-stroke. People probably think we're whacking weeds back here. <laughs> I want to bring the K my KTM back here too. That'd be fun. <laughs> Is it hot yet? Yeah. <laughs> it's hot? <laughs> This thing's sick and it's so small. It's definitely designed more for like a kid, but you could, I think I'll be able to ride it still. We'll see if it'll do wheelies. Wait, sit on it? Is it, as long as it, yeah, it's not touching, it's thinking about it, but as long as I sit, yeah, it's good. And you guys gotta remember, I'm like 190 pounds. I'm not, I'm not super small. So if I can fit this thing, all right, let's rip it and see what happens. Let me do a flyby right through this rock. Pegs don't really work for being 6'1", but. No, it's honestly, it's honestly not going that slow. Like I'm probably going like maybe 12, 15 miles an hour. 
If you were like a little kid, like eight years old, this thing would fly. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it to do a burnout. <laughs> it's purring. I was not expecting it to give enough juice. You want to try and ride it? Hey, I'm small enough. <laughs> you basically just got to point your feet straight out. <laughs> For how cheap it is, if you were a little kid, this thing would be so much fun. If you can't afford like a super expensive 50 like most kids, Get this thing for a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> for a 50cc, it's not that slow. It's weird being on an automatic. Yeah, it's an automatic too. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's rowdy. It definitely is like a two-stroke. There's no power down in the bottom end, but once it gets wound up, it moves right along. The brakes are nice. The brakes can lock up the tires easily, that's nice. So that red button's the kill switch. That's the kill switch, yeah. All right, final thoughts. I think it's an awesome bike for like, for your kid that's learning how to ride. Awesome bike, it's the brakes are solid. It's got a ton of power, but when you're 190 pounds, it's a little difficult to ride. I also think this is a good bike to bring for like, um, like to go to the track with is like your pit bike to just take around or like to bring to like the stunt lot to like take videos and pictures of other people. Cause you could just cruise nice and low to the ground and stuff. And it's super cheap and this tank of gas will probably last hours of riding. That's the final conclusions. Thanks for tuning in.